Hello, welcome back. Logic Pro Beginners Course, Logic Pro 10, or Logic Pro X Beginners Course, DJ Vic Vapor with you. This is lesson two, and we're gonna open up Logic Pro. So when you first open it up, this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get this screen right here. But before I start to explain a little bit about what this screen's showing us. Just as a quick reminder, if you just downloaded and in installed Logic Pro 10, you can actually go to your applications. Let me show you. Go to applications. And you will find it alphabetically listed. If I can find it. Right there it is. Logic Pro 10. Now you can just grab, drag it down, and drop it into your dock here, and it'll be ready to open anytime you're in need of it. <coughs> Excuse me. So, okay, so we've opened it up. This is the screen we get, and we've got a couple options here. We've got hip hop genre, electronic genre, songwriting, multi track, and empty track. So, hip hop genre is a gritty mix of drum kits and analog synths so it's going to give us sounds that are complementary of the hip-hop genre electronic a solid blend of drum kits and pulsating synths again a nice collection of sounds that are particular to the electronic uh, genre and then songwriting you're looking at something uh, slightly different it's an ideal writing studio and it's gonna position us with drums, bass, uh, and premium amps and some vocal tracks. So it'll give us you know some realistic bass sounds and amp sounds and it'll also give us some vocal tracks probably with a little compression or reverb things like that. You've got the multi-track it's a 24 track audio project with mix ready effects and then you've got an empty project create an empty project which will have no effects or no um, presets or anything like that it'll just be a blank slate for you to work with and for now that's where we're gonna start so I'm gonna go ahead and hit choose and once it opens we've got this screen here so to start a project in Logic Pro 10 we need to choose a track so to do that we can click on any of these here and they'll be highlighted by the little spotlight there again it's got the uh, you know the electronic play sounds from your Mac or external MIDI device or content other apps to Logic Pro record using a microphone or line input record guitar or bass using Logic Pro as an amp add drums that automatically play with your song so those are our options for this lesson in tutorial we're gonna go ahead and use record using a microphone or line input and down here I'm just gonna click create and you can see I can choose multiple numbers of tracks if I wanted to but for now I'm just gonna leave it on one so and it's ready to go Logic Pro 10 is open we've got our audio track and it's ready for us to begin uh, music creation so let's move on to the next lesson and look at adding additional content and looking at some uh, advanced tools.